everybody welcome back to the channel i hope everyone who is a mother um had a great mother's day and um and be mindful of the mothers that are no longer with us and all the great jobs that they have done so hopefully everyone has had a blessed wonderful day um, i'm coming to you today just real quick just to talk to you about a couple of my favorite beauty products i haven't done that in a minute um, I've mentioned before in previous um, videos how I love and I still use the Mary Kay skincare system. I do like Mary Kay skincare. Um, in addition to the Mary Kay skincare, uh, when it comes down to uh, removing makeup, which is I'm someone who wears makeup every day, and of course I want to make sure that my face is clean and got all the makeup off my face. One thing I've kind of added to uh, my regimen is an oldie but a goodie. Um, I've been using Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser. Can you see? Um, I have this little jar. It doesn't take much. Um, I normally use this um, sometimes as a first step. Um, I'll just put a little bit on my face. Rest it in there really good and get a, a paper towel, a wet paper towel, get it off my face. Um, and also I do use the Neutrogena um, cleansing wipes. And this is a favorite amongst everybody. So this is really, really good also, okay? So along with some other things, so I use a combination of things to make sure that my face is nice, clean, and moisturized before I go to bed at night. We're not going to talk about every little thing. I'm just going to talk to you about some things that I haven't talked to you about previous. Okay? So those are new to me. Um, when it comes down to um, going to work every day and using um, eyeshadow, I have come across, um, I mentioned in one of the previous videos, I do like the Morphe 35 Old Palette. It is fantastic. I love the warm tones that are in that product or in that palette, I should say. Also, what I do use, if I'm not using that 35-0, I'm either using this um, Urban Decay. This is the Ultimate Basic Set. And cover this up here. And that is what this pack palette looks like. I love, love, love this palette. It is pretty much all mattes, but it has one shimmer, okay? One shimmer, which is this one right here. But this is your, I mean, perfect. When I mean perfect, perfect, perfect everyday palette. You can get this palette at Sephora, you can get it at um, Ulta. I happened to pick it up when it was on sale for like $25, but it's normally like $54. But even still, it is so worth it. Fantastic. The next eyeshadow palette that I love is the Jaclyn Hill. This palette, I see what everyone was talking about. I've only had a chance to use it on not every color in here, but let me tell you what. The way they blend, they are so buttery. This color right here, right here, which is called um, Pukey, is such a good transition color. Oh man, I mean, it is beautiful. And then right below it is Roxanne. Roxanne, Roxanne, hey, I love it. I love this palette. One thing about this, um, it's um, in a pan, this looks blue, but I have it on my lid right now, but it comes across more purple. Can you see? But I love this palette, man. So I'm looking forward to use it, using it even more. Another thing I have been loving lately, um, the Urban Decay, the primer, I have the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complex Primer. It says soothing, I'm sorry, smoothing, rose hip and argan oil pore perfecting. I like this. 
um, when you put it on, it's real smooth going on. And I put it in my T-zone areas, the areas that I sweat most often. I really, really like this. I don't care too much for the setting spray though with the Urban Decay. To me, it, it, it feels sticky on my face. Maybe I'm using too much, I don't know. But to me, it feels sticky. So, but the um, setting spray that I do love, I have been getting into the MAC um, Fix Plus, but I recently picked up the Fix Gold Light. This is the gold one. They have it in gold and pink. Let me see if I can, you have to shake it up before you use it, right? And just spray it, look, let me see if I can get a little bit on my hand so you can see. It's a very subtle glow to it. You see that? It is so pretty. Yeah, I mean, it's so pretty, man. So yeah, I love that. Also, I picked up a couple of the MAC, um, oh, I'm sorry, before I get to that, another spray that I've been loving is the Mario Badesco skincare i use this daily now y'all know i'm not a big fan of um of lavender i've said that previous and this is the um aloe calomel and lavender but i love the way this feels on my face so on some days when i really don't even have makeup on i'll put this on my face spray it on draw my eyebrows on the best that i can because y'all know i have some struggle brows let's be honest <laughs> but I really like this. Um, I'm gonna get this again. This I paid this up for $7 at Ulta. I don't know if it was on sale, if that was a regular price, but I don't know. But when I go, when I'm done with this, I'm gonna go and get the rose one. I think there's a couple other scents too, but I really like this. Um, and I, as I was mentioning earlier, I have um, two of the MAC Longwear Paint Pots. Um, I have it in two colors. I have it in Land Low, and I have it in Soft Ochre. Um, so I really like these. One thing about these are, and I use these as my primers, but you wanna make sure that you tighten it real tight before you put it back in, because you don't want them drying out because they're not cheap. These are like um, $26, but they'll last a long time. Also, um, I've had this before in the past, but my daughter just recently got it for me again for Mommy's Day. Um, but yeah, she just replenished it for me, but the packaging looks a little different from the last time that I had one. This is the MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Dark. Isn't it pretty? I've had this before maybe about a couple, about two years ago and I hadn't bought it again. And my daughter got it for me. I love this. Okay. Um, just a few more things. And I mentioned previous on days when I don't really wear a lot of makeup. I do like the um, NYX Liquid Illuminator. Just put this a little bit in just a couple areas of your face. Just put a little bit of glow. It makes your skin look real nice and radiant and healthy and nice. Um, and I think that's all I wanted to talk. Oh, I'm sorry. One more thing. Um, for the L'Oreal, you know, I am like 51 years old, guys. So I like to take care of around my eyes. Um, so I do have the Mary Kay Eye Firming Cream. But I had ran out of it. Um, so what I've been using in place of it is the Age Perfect Eye Renewal. And I put this on my face in the morning and at nighttime. And it does help with the dark circles and helps kind of firm your skin. So this is nice too. This is about uh, $20, I think, at Target. So let me know what some of your favorites are. Um, do you use any of these products that I use here? If so, let me know what your experience is with those. Um, I will be coming back with some more hair videos. I've been going through some things lately and yeah, just having, you know, felt like filming a whole lot lately, but I want to come back. But yeah, I just want to come back. Happy Mother's Day. You all stay blessed. 
If you have not um, subscribed to the channel yet, please don't forget to do so. If you are interested in this makeup look, let me know and I'm more than happy to recreate that. So you all stay blessed and I will see you on the next one.